Inhale up. Exhale. Lean back. Bend the knees. Inhale, come up. Bend all the way out to the sides. Let yourself float into a body pinata. See what it's like to float in. Land it, yeah. Dime in, bend out to the right, bend out to the left, to the right. And we let the hips relax in this one, right? Doesn't that feel good? We let the shoulders come up more than normal. Okay, come to center, feet push down. Toes stay tucked under, knees come towards the ground. Press the legs straight. Just keep the arms floating up over the head. That's it. Beautiful, guys. Send them out wide. Start to bend the knees. Feet come together. Floating. Diamond. Let's shift to the right. To the right. Doesn't this feel good? Mm -hmm. Shift to the left. That opens up the lower back before we get crazy with it. Feet pressed down, knees together, toes stay tucked under, supported back bend. Camel. So they call it hero pose in yoga when the toes are tucked under. But when we're here, since our toes are tucked under, we can press straight back and come into our supported back bend. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. nice. So we bend the knees, we're going to feet a little bit wider for this. Bend the knees and go right into your drop back. The wheel. So drop backs are really hard for people, right? So that helps them if they have like a very reliable partner. So just bring your weight down to the ground more. And you'll get there. Push up onto your tippy toes. So yeah, you can help the swing in. Yeah, it's OK. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's good. Yeah, good. So hold on to the, uh, just bring your hands down. Let's see if we can do it. So we're going to do left leg wrap. So just see if you can get the left leg to come up and down. It's a little much for the back. So extend, left leg up towards the sky, half wheel. Mm -hmm. Now in half wheel, I keep my arms straight to kick over. I kick through the center and then make sure the swing stays high up in the thigh and slide into a half plank. So bring both feet down towards the ground quickly. Down, down, down. Feet down towards the ground quickly. Yes. You did it. So your arms are straight, it's a little bit easier. So out to the side. So have your hand face the back of the room. Keep walking. Do one on the ground. Mm -hmm. Is that what you meant? Well. No. Something is different with this chip leg. <laughs> Should be the other so, leg. I, yeah, I'm wondering if you can bring your right hand down and lift your left, your left hand up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Something is I knew I was hearing this on the wrong side. Although now we know that that's possible. <laughs> okay. Now this is intense, so we only stay here for a minute. We bring the left forearm down. Keep the right arm straight. Kick the right arm, right leg up towards the sky and the back behind you. Keep weight in the left leg. Yeah, good. Arch open. Don't have a big There we go. So yeah, so the left left leg has to point forward. Yeah, there it is. So we don't bring the left leg back. We keep the left leg forward. Okay. Okay. So. Push both arms straight, swing the leg around and out to the side, side throw. So it's almost like you're trying to bring your knees onto your elbow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, beautiful. Kick it back straight up towards the sky, bring the left forearm down and overhead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really good. Now straight up in the air and through center. So far, our forward folds have become our respite, right? So get the swing into the sweet spot. Just adjust as necessary. Push into a down dog, happy dog. Drag it up. 
Just take a little break here. Ooh. We're going to do the whole sequence. So we're going to keep going. Left leg lifts. Wrap outside in. Press the legs straight. Come into standing splits. So in standing splits, we balance. And we bring the hands behind the back. To stretch the shoulders. Mm. Enjoy that stretch. Okay. Release the hands down to the ground. It's really important to get the right hand right underneath the chest so you start lining up, start stacking. Left arm reaches towards the sky. Back behind you. Hold on to the swing as high as possible so you're Right fingertips come off the ground and you turn the toes out to the side. Yes. Isn't that fun? Oh, okay. Half mirror. So just wiggle up a little bit higher once you get there. Yeah. And then your belly is facing the back of the room with the green curtains. Yes. So half mirror. So try stacking your right foot right underneath your right hip. So lock your right toes towards your right hand a little bit more. Yes, that's it. Beautiful. Okay, now roll your belly up towards the sky and grab above your left hand. Mm -hmm. Switch to the hand hold for this one. You can also use the leg loop if you want a little bit of a break, Bob. Okay. It's okay to, to show that example, too. Uh, just you yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. yeah, right above the neck is a great place to hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's uh, it. Oh, that yeah. yeah, that's really nice. So it's always good to have uh, different it. levels. Yeah. To give different examples of different levels. So always use the leg loop if it feels more comfortable because then you're giving people permission. Correct. Turn the left knee down towards the ground and then turn the shoulders over. There you go. Hold on with both hands. That's perfect. Good job. Mm hmm Really nice. So Nataraj. So in Nataraj, we there we can hang completely. So it's a big shoulder stretch. Straighten your arms if you can, bend the right knee, and then pick the foot up towards the thigh. So the foot is towards the thigh. Thigh? Yes, that thigh, bottom, so the top of the thigh. Yeah. Okay, the top of the thigh. Knee pointing down towards the ground if you can. So just like this, just easy. No, just like that, okay. Just easy, yeah. Now we can kick it up and hook the right ankle over the left with the full swan. So the other thing that we could do here is strengthening. So if you want to pull up and do some bicep curls, this is a good place <laughs> to get that done. And then we're going to bring the right foot back down to the ground on the top and straighten both legs, arm up. Yeah. So belly is facing the green again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So now my toes have to turn all the way to the left to, to get my belly towards the sky. Both legs are still straight. I lean back into it the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can switch the holding on to the swing now, if you like. You can release the left arm and just kind of flourish. And then right leg kicks on top of the left or kick the swing away. So good. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful, we're all stacked and everything. Okay, so left hand holds on. We have to roll through the center. So what I'm going to do is make sure my foot doesn't slide off, okay? But my left leg unthreads. I get the knee out. Then I roll through center. Bring my head down towards the ground. Yes, that's it. And then come right in. You see how there, yes. Close. Roll, yeah, roll down, belly towards This way? This way, this way. <laughs> when you get a chance, and then we'll wait for you and down the. Okay. So, whatever <laughs> you want to get there. We're going to have to show you on the other side, because once we're, once we're in it, we can't like stop the spin. <laughs> Happy dog. <laughs>
Lift the right leg up towards the sky. And I actually want to come into it the other way. So you guys, let's do a little spin here. So I'm going to bring my right arm to center, left leg reaches back. I'm going to come and sit in Baddha Konasana. So let's just come back here so we can do the half wheel too. Okay. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, so we're we're on the bottom of the sides of the feet, the feet toes together. Yeah. So roll into the left, roll into the right. My hip presses up when I when I do that. Yeah, that's great. One more time, left. Okay, now the feet can be straight down towards the ground, so stay tucked under. Oh, nice. Legs are straight. Hang out here, wait for one another. Elbows bend, sign in, let's bring the left. So look over the shoulder, notice that really gets deep into the hip. So keep the hips hanging, but then press the left hip up. Right hip stays hanging. Mm -hmm. One more time. So drop the left hip, press the right hip up. Just the one hip. Center, press the feet down, roll forward. Mm, yum. Yum, back then. Nice. Press the legs straight back behind you. Now, this time we're going to go right into our wheel. See if you can do the drop back. Really good. Mm -hmm. So, Bob, keep holding on to the swing to get it. Get the right leg. towards the ground and we spin out. <laughs> that's okay too. So if you don't have the arms straight, that's what that's what happens. <laughs> Thank you for that example. <laughs> Reach for the far side. So right hand reaches for the right for the right. Okay. And just right forearm down. So left arm has to pull in to be even with the shoulders, right? So that's important. And then the hands stay pointing forward. I kick left leg up and over. So I'm balancing on the forearm. And then I press left arm straight. Yeah, then you got it. So bring your right foot down towards the earth more. The other way. Right foot down towards the earth. Like that happens. <laughs> yeah. So that's what happens when you bring it up. So when we bring it down, we have a foot balance. <laughs> Down, bring your toes to the floor, right toes to the floor, to the floor, all the way down. Right toes to the floor, all the way down. Yes. That's how much weight stays in your leg. Okay. Thank you. And then so with that weight, left leg can come overhead. So you have to have that counterbalance. Okay. So bring legs around to the right. Try to keep the arms straight. See how hard it is? So we want to collapse here. If you bring the arms straight, you have to really crunch. So that's why I say keep the arms as straight as possible. It's okay to bend a little bit, but it's harder. I was saying not to bend elbow. Yeah, so both hands are down for this one. Keep the arms straight. Yes. And now bring the feet over towards the elbow. Knee towards the elbow. Yeah, like you're, yes, like you're going to hook it. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Right leg stays heavy. Left leg comes up and over. Come down to the right. 